Hello, you're welcome. How to solve for x and y in this system of equation here? Let's leave this as equation one and here as equation two. And from equation one here, we have x plus y equals to eight. And from here, let's make y the subject. We have y now equals to eight minus x from here then we can substitute this in equation 2 that is what we have in equation 2 which is x y equals to 8 we then become x times y is now 8 minus x then equals to 8 from here and here x open bracket this gives us 8x minus x square equals to 8 on this side and when we rearrange here this becomes minus x square plus 8x then taking 8 here because minus 8 now equals to 0 from here and here let's multiply through by minus 1 to clear this minus here and this becomes plus x square then here become minus 8x then here become plus 8 and here equals to 0 from here and here we solve this quadratic equation here a is 1 then b is minus 8 and see from here we have 8 then using the quadratic formula which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a and here this becomes x now equals to minus minus 8 plus or minus square root of minus 8 square minus 4 times 1 times 8 then over 2 times 1 and when we simplify this becomes x equals to here we have 8 plus or minus square root of minus 8 square we plus 64 then when we multiply this we have minus 32 then over 2 from here and this same thing as x equals to 8 plus or minus when we subtract this we see our square root of 32 then over 2 and here then over 2 and here we can separate this as root 16 times root 2 which becomes 4 root 2 that this here we have x equals to 8 plus or minus 4 root 2 then over 2 and here we have 2 common here which implies we have x equals to 2 into bracket 4 plus or minus 2 root 2 close bracket then over 2 and here this cancel each other which implies here we have x equals to 4 plus or minus 2 root 2 that is here we have two values of x we have the first one x equals to 4 plus 2 root 2 and second one let's this be x1 and x2 we have 4 minus 2 root 2 then here to get the corresponding value of y from when we have y equals to 8 minus x then we can use that relation here that implies here that y1 will then be equals to 8 minus x1 which is 4 plus 2 root 2 from here the minus open here then we have y1 
and then be equals to 8 minus 4 then minus 2 root 2 here which implies we have y1 equals to 4 minus 2 root 2 then here the first set of solution x1 y1 will now be equals to here we have x to be 4 plus 2 root 2 then comma y here is 4 minus 2 root 2 then also on the other hand here to get the value of y also we use this relation then y2 here give us 8 minus x2 which is 4 minus 2 root 2 and here we have y2 now equals to 8 minus 4 plus 2 root 2 which implies here we have y2 now equals to 4 because 8 minus 4 here that's 4 that's 4 plus 2 root 2 then also the second set of solution which is x2 comma y2 we then be equals to here yeah, x2 we have 4 minus 2 root 2 then y2 we have 4 plus 2 root 2 and when we look at this here what is serving as x here serving as y here and what is serving as y here serving as x here then we can quickly check to confirm if this will satisfy the given problem that is from what we have in equation one x plus y equals to eight now let's test with the first set of solution that is we have x one comma y one that's given us four plus two root two then comma y one that's four minus two root two now when we substitute here it implies in equation one becomes four plus two root two which is x then plus y which is four minus two root two then is it equals to eight on this side then here two root two minus two root two cancel each other then four plus four that's eight which is equals to eight so this satisfies the equation one also for equation two when we multiply is equals to eight then we have four plus two, two root two multiplied by four minus two root two with this be equals to eight on this side then from what we have here it follows from when we have a plus b multiplied by a minus b which we can write as a square minus b square and here this same thing as 4 square minus 2 root 2 4 square with this be equals to 8 then here 4 square 4 times 4 that's 16 then minus here the square here affects 2 that's 2 square that's 4 they also affect root 2 that's square cancel square root that's 2 is equals to 8 then what we have now become 16 minus 4 times 2 that's 8 is equals to 8 and here we have 8 now equals to 8 therefore the left hand side also equals to the right hand side and hence it satisfies the equation 2 as well and hence the second set of solution will also satisfy the given problem and thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more exciting videos turn on the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up and see you next class bye for now